Hello everyone, let's start with question number 3. So in this it says if tan A equals 3 over 4, then we have to find the value of sin A for say as 12 over 25. We basically need to recheck their answer. Ki kya sin A dot cos A 12 over 25 banega ya nahi? So sabse pehle hume given hai ki tan A equals hai 3 over 4 ke. So isko hum ratio mein le rahe So hum iske aage variable laga denge that will be x. Now tan A, what is P over B, perpendicular over base. So, we make a triangle, which we will mark the perpendicular and base, 3x, and base is 4x. Now, hypotenuse is unknown. This is my angle A, this is my B, this is my point C. Perpendicular, pata hai, base, pata hai, hypotenuse. Ne hai. So, which formula we have to use is, we have to use Pythagoras theorem. So, Pythagoras theorem kya hoti hai? Hypotenuse ka square, perpendicular ka square, plus base ka square. Perpendicular is 3x square, base is 4x square, 9x square plus 16x square. So, it will be 25x square. It is h square 25x square. So, ab hamare paas 25 ko reduce karna, it will be 5x whole square. Square se square cancel kar do. H ki value kitni aage? 5x. So, ab hume kya karna hai? Ab hume nikalna hai sin A ki value. Sin A ki value kya hoti hai? Some people have P over H. P kya hai humara? Perpendicular. Perpendicular is 3x. H kya hai humara? 5x. X x cancel. So, value for sin A is 3 over 5. अब हम निकालेंगे cos A की वाल. cos A क्या होगा हमारा? B over H, base over hypotenuse. तो base कितना है? 4x. Hypotenuse कितना है? 5x. So, x से x cancel हो गया. 4 over 5. तो अब हमारे पास, we have to prove this part. तो ये part proof करने के लिए हमें दिखाना पड़ेगा कि sin A dot cos A is making 12 over 25. So, sin A की value डालते हैं, it is 3 over 5, cos A की value डालो, 4 over 5, 3 into 4 कितना हो गया, 12, नीचे कितना आ गया, 25. So, yes, it is correct, left hand side is equal to right hand side, hence verified for question number 3. Thank you for watching this, please like, share and subscribe.